This is True Multifamily, the show where we dive in on what really happens after closing a multifamily property. We're going to expose the role of asset manager. That's a person who has a responsibility of seeing the vision, executing the plan, and managing people, budgets, and timelines, all to deliver returns for our investors. These are the real struggles, the real victories, and the real stories of asset management. Welcome back to a very special edition of True Multifamily. I'm your host, Justin Fraser, here with my friend, Jerome Myers. Once again, Jerome, welcome back to the show, man. Justin, it's so good to be with you. I feel like I spilled all my guts last time I was here. I got to be a little more careful. <laughs> we got to mop you up time. off the floor. Yeah. <laughs> uh, your episode was one of our highest rated, one of our most downloaded. What? Not yeah, I know you got big goals. We'll see. We'll see if this one I'm working if you, on it, man. If you miss Jerome's first episode, you have to after you after this one, go back and listen to his first episode. It was so, so good. So many lessons <laughs> learned, and we love how open and honest you were with us, Jerome. It's such good stuff. Um, this episode is different than any other episode we've ever done because Jerome has an incredible opportunity for uh, everyone, anyone who is very serious about investing in multifamily. Jerome has put a conference together that I want him to talk to you guys about because um, as operators, our listeners of our show, Jerome, you know, they're, they're multifamily operators. They want to grow. Yeah, yeah. They want to scale. They need the, re- the real deal. And when you and I were talking about your conference, I'm like, look, I need to have you on to, to, to talk about it, not just as a shameless promotion, but because your message overlaps and resonates so well with the message of this show and and all the people that are listening to the show. So first off, let's start by give us a quick summary. Remind us who who is Jerome Myers and what are you doing? Yeah, man. I'm the guy who dropped out of corporate America and tried to buy an apartment building, but had no idea what I was doing. And so all the banks told me no. Told me I need to go find a partner that had the experience that had done the business plan I wanted to do. And I didn't know where to go find that person. And so it's funny we started talking about this conference because when I started, I didn't do any education programs. I didn't do any conferences. And had I done those two things, I think my business would probably be in a very different spot than what it is today. And so it's my goal, it's my desire, it's my ambition to create that forum for people and not just one where, you know, you show up and everybody's kind of often themselves in different cliques but where you can show up and meet people who look like you, regardless of what your background is, who who look like you, regardless of what your background or sex is. And the goal is absolutely to inspire you to do more, give you some direction on how you can actually get there faster and give you education at the best level that we can in a conference format to help you get further in your business. And it doesn't matter whether you're brand new, we've got one lady who's speaking who's did a four unit, or you've got a huge portfolio. We've got a guy who's done 2000 doors in joint ventures with his dad. And so, you know, doesn't matter where you are, we've got something for you. And that part is really exciting. And the last thing Justin, I'll say is there is no backend pitch. There is no 30,000 program to sign up for. We want people to get the experience. We want you to have come and meet people get some great education and then go off and refuel and energize and invigorate it while you go run your business. Uh, Drum, that sounds awesome. Um, Tell me though, why, like, why did you decide to make a conference, right? There's all these conferences that you see out there. I mean, especially in the last year with Zoom, right? Everyone, I feel like everyone's got a conference right now. Um, So tell me, you know, what, for you, what was the personal reason that you decided that you had wanted to go and, and build your own? I got tired of, well, one, I had a really bad experience. I paid to go to a conference and I got pitched by every speaker that came up on the stage. Yeah. And I didn't realize that I was going, I paid somebody to pitch me on something that cost more. That felt right. really bad. Yeah. And, you know, I, at the end of the day, I can't be upset with people who run their businesses however they do, but I wanted to create something where you could actually get connected to people who were doing the business and not just professional educators. I mean, there's room for educators, but I wanted folks to hear from real operators who weren't trying to sell them in their $30,000 program on the backside. Yeah, absolutely. Can you give us a little taste of some of the the talks or the content that, that you have lined up? Yeah, so we're absolutely going to go through our four-step four process for 
buying multifamily, find fun, fix and flip. And everybody's conversation or talk will be through that. Uh, Billy Kills is going to talk about investing from long distance. He lives in Barcelona, Spain. He yep. invests in the U.S. And he helps bring passive investors together so that they can go do really large deals. Amy Tiemann's coming in from Texas, and she's going to talk about rebuilding her world. Like, she basically lost everything in her divorce, and she had to start completely over for, and build up her property management business as well as start doing large syndication. Super excited about her. And my friend James Bryan is going to come in and talk about doing good while doing well. And so how can your impact investments make a real impact? That's going yeah. to be a phenomenal talk. Uh, Spencer Hillegas is going to talk about limb facts, right? Limiting factors, things that you need to overcome in order to exit your day job. And that is a talk that I've heard him give once or twice before, but it's one of my favorite talks that I've heard from folks all over the industry. Uh, my mm -hmm. personal mentor, uh, Pankaj Sharma, he's the guy that I was talking about that owns over 2,000 doors with his dad. He is going to come in and talk about generational wealth. I think a lot of people are pursuing that, but he's a benefactor of what his dad started and he's helped take it to the next level. And so he's going to come in and break that down. And the last one I'll just highlight because I think is really exciting is Maurice Villagine. He's coming in, he's talking about the five freedoms. And so how do you get free from the things that are holding a lot of people back? And he's going to walk through the tactics and tools that he uses to live, I guess he calls it by country or by it's not by coastal because he's over in like Europe or the Middle East right now. So <laughs> he, he's like, oh, by continental. He's by continental, not by coastal, by continental. And, uh, you know, it's it's pretty cool from my perspective. And so he's going to break that down. But he's been able to create that freedom through investing in real estate. And so he's going to tell us his story. And so what I've asked everybody to do is actually tell their story. Not just give us a highlight reel, but tell their stories, stuff they've overcome, and then give the listeners something tactical that they can do right away, implement so that they can take it and push it into their business. And that part that is so me, crucial, Jerome. That part is so crucial because I cannot tell you how many times I've sat in a room listening to someone talk and I'm like, that's great, but what? <laughs> like, what's the next thing? Like, what am I supposed to do with that information? You know, so I, I love that call to action, that action step at the end that um, so often in articles you read or talks you hear, it's like just forgotten about. It's like, oh, look at this great thing I did over here. I'm like, well, okay, well, what am I supposed to do with that information? So amazing. Really great. Sorry to cut you off there, but I got so no. excited. <laughs> it's so, no. so important. Um, Jerome, one last thing before we go. Like, so you have the regular admission. What, why would I upgrade to the VIP? Tell me the extra benefits I get for being a VIP. Yeah, so I think we've got about 30 hours of content, Justin. And so you can sit at your computer and watch all 30 hours live because every every speaker is coming live or you can get access to the recordings. And so we've got three rooms. There's one VIP networking room, a general admission networking room, and then the programming or the actual speaker room. And so you can pick which one you participate in. The VIP is going to be open just about the entire time. And so people can network in VIP because a lot of people want to go to conferences to meet other people. They don't really care about the educational content. And I figured out why they don't care about it because they feel like they're just being sold exactly. on something else. Yep. But, you know, for us, that's not the situation here. And the VIPs will get the recording. I threw in a coaching call, one-on-one -on -one coaching call with me. In addition to that, they get an upgraded care package. We've got care packages going out to surprise people. They don't even know it's coming. So we're going to ruin the surprise when we drop this episode. And uh, what is the other thing? I think there's one other one other perk of being a VIP. It's on, it's on the website, man. Okay. But, you know, there's plenty of reasons to upgrade. But I think the thing that's most meaningful is access to those recordings. Because if you, you, you got to pick, are you going to listen to those people who are speaking or are you going to go network? And there's some times that where we have specific networking, but if you want to hang out in the hallway, like some people do at real conferences, there's absolutely opportunity to do that at this one. And you don't have to miss out on the content. General admission is going to have to pick whether they're in the hallway or listening yeah. to people speak. And like I said, we, we've got a ton of great speakers. And I know for a fact that anybody who comes and there's people who've never spoke. So Esther or SD uh, Reese's, she is coming in and she's raised over $30 million in the past year. Wow. Right. 
Wow. And I don't know many, I know people who've been raising a whole career who haven't raised that type of money. And she's going to talk about how to get a quick start. Right. And so, you know, I could keep going down the list of all the different speakers, but, you know, at the end of the day, I think we've given people microphones that haven't been able to get microphones in the past. And it's our goal to give people that step on the stage for the first time. Right. There might not be room for you at a conference. And, you know, I want to create that place where people get that opportunity. Dan Hanford gave me an opportunity to talk at my first conference. And now I'm doing it for other people. And that for me is pretty exciting. I can feel the passion. And uh, if you guys are serious about being multi-panel investors, you've got to join, join the conference. What is the website? How can they buy their ticket, Jerome? Yeah, so jump over to MyersMethods.com forward slash CON 2021 and you can grab the ticket. I encourage the VIP. It's going to be a different situation. We got over 50 people coming in there for that and they all either are high net worth or own deals already. And so if you're like me, when you're trying to get in a space and you don't know anybody, you know you got to expand your network. The only way that that happens is if you go to places where those folks are hanging out. Absolutely. Right? Yep. You, you can't do be it in the room. computer. You have to be in the you, room. You got to be in the room. It, and the meetups are great, but imagine people from all over the world. Literally, we've got Barcelona, Spain. We've got London, England. We've got uh, Jerusalem. I mean, we've got people from all over the world. And then almost all of the, we've got over 25 of the 50 states in the United States coming already. Amazing. So if you're not jumping in and getting connected with people from all over the world, then I don't know what you're really doing. And you're missing out. you know these what people are serious because they are spending money to be there. And this is why I don't do a free event. I don't think people value those things. I want people to show up and be attentive and be engaged and hold me to that standard because, you know, folks are giving away tickets to these virtual conferences, $50, $75. Yeah. It's usually because they have something on the back end to sell. Right. Our tickets are going to be really close to $200 if somebody waits till the last minute. And so we've got to deliver some tremendous value for the folks to spend that type of cash. Yeah. Well, if you don't want to spend $200, as of right now, as of t- today, they're only 161 but they are going up $1 a day. I've never seen that concept, Jerome. I love it. Um, so this probably will air. It'll be $162, $163 a day. You got to get in uh, before it goes up to $200. That's uh there you go, Jerome. Uh, listen, thanks for coming on the show. Uh, I'm uh, I'm proud to, to call you a friend and very excited for you about this conference. And I, I wish you nothing but the best, most success. And for all of you guys listening, please make sure you join the website, uh, buy your tickets. The website will be in our show notes, uh, truemultifamily.show if you missed the URL and we will see you soon. Thanks a lot, Jerome. Thanks, Justin. Talk soon. Thanks for listening to another episode. Check out our website at truemultifamily.show. And if you have an amazing story to tell, share it in our Facebook community, and you might just be the next guest on the show. We're also on all other social networks. Just search True Multifamily. I'm really, really proud to have this show produced by our company, On Air Brands. Check us out at onairbrands.com. We also have an incredible, unique podcasting event that we would love for you to be a part of. Check that out at podmax.co. 